Polling shows Americans are concerned about a second wave of the virus as shops and workplaces reopen. An Associated Press survey found 83% of Americans are at least somewhat concerned that lifting restrictions in their area will lead to additional infections. 54% say that they are very or extremely concerned. And here now to talk about COVID-19 with some hopeful news is a good friend of the program, National Geographic uh, photographer, uh, medical doctor in Dallas. He is uh, Dr. Jeff Gusky. Welcome. Good to have you back with us again. It's great to be back with you, Fred. And uh, something happened that you won't believe since your producer booked me for the show. Let's hear it. And it, it, you, you didn't pay me to say this. It goes to the heart of why the Black News Channel is important to our country for saving lives and influencing national policy. So after we scheduled the show, your producer forwarded a clip of what we did six days ago when the Black News Channel broke the news of scientific evidence linking African-American genetic vulnerability to COVID. And, and so I shared that clip with an influential pastor in Arkansas that's a friend of mine, and he shared it with a friend of his for 40 years, I think they went to divinity school together. And that pastor called me not long ago, and we had a long talk, and that pastor's name is King Congressman Emmanuel Cleaver. Hmm. And as a result of the Black News Channel coverage, which he had not heard on any other news outlet, tomorrow he's scheduling a meeting with the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus himself and me to discuss this important issue. And it's because of your coverage and your air. And I thank you. No, oh, we thank you for your hard work. That's outstanding news. And I'll, I'll pass it along uh, to the rest of my colleagues here. But let me, let me ask you, you about um, uh, the news out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Amazing. Uh, with the, please explain that story. This is it. So, you know, we, we talked last Friday about how we're, there's a missing link to this COVID story, and and it's been it's been so obvious. Well, a godsend happened last week when I was on uh, WLW, which is a big radio station in Cincinnati. I get a call right after the show. I thought it was a station. It was the president of the Cincinnati Fraternal Order of Police, thousand members. He said, Dr. Gusky, this is the most clear explanation for why COVID spreads of anything I've heard. And by the way, for the last two months, I had an instinct and I went to uh, Chief Isaac, who is the, uh, the chief of the Cincinnati police force. And he um, uh, very thoughtfully created policies for the entire Cincinnati police force based upon this instinct of, uh, of Dan Hills, the president of the FOP, which was that outdoor air is much safer against COVID than indoor air. And so the Cincinnati police are not going into homes, apartment buildings, office buildings, high rises, whenever possible, they're doing their police business outdoors. And as a result, it appears they have the lowest infection rate from COVID of any large police force in Ohio. That was the first thing, and then it gets better. So Dan Hills, again had a hunch he he remembered that he had heard the the hamilton county jail in cincinnati which is you know a large city mm -hmm. had zero cases of COVID amongst their inmates and what's the so explanation called, for that well there wasn't here it is it's okay. it, it it all the story begins to fit together he calls sheriff uh neil and said uh what is your humidity and Sheriff Neal did not know, so he calls the chief engineer, and guess what? The humidity, without knowing it, their humidity was 52%, which is, is green air, it's safe air against COVID, safer against COVID, and they, as a result, I believe, have had zero cases of COVID. Imagine if the same thing was happening in every nursing home, every prison, every meatpacking plant, every hospital in America. And, and so, and this is also the reason why you have a country like India, I believe, 1.4 billion people, and they have almost no deaths, like a couple thousand deaths. 
in India. You can't social distance in India. I believe it's the same reason why Florida is naturally safer against COVID, why Singapore, Taiwan, Hong Kong. It has to do with outdoor weather affecting indoor danger or safety against COVID. The beauty is that we can all make indoor air safe. We can make everywhere Florida safe in the country. Wow. That, that so is, that's the news. And so we're yeah. going on national news, and you're the first station to break this news nationally. Well, that's, Thank you again, happy Black to News do it. Channel. Listen, if it's helping people, we're all for it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me ask you this in closing. Um, this is a lot of great information. What can everyday Thank people you. do with this information to help themselves and their loved ones? So simple plan called Humidity Save Lives, saves lives that first makes invisible danger visible and then makes invisible danger safe. Everyone needs to go online and buy one of these for 10 or $12. It's a digital hygrometer, H-Y-G, hygrometer. Mm -hmm. It gives you situational awareness about the humidity of the air in your home. It should be, in my view, between 50 and 60% round the clock to make the air safer or green against COVID. Second thing is to get a meeting at the White House, which I will be asking Congressman Bass and Congressman Cleaver about tomorrow with all the weather channels. So we announce on every weather report around the clock around the world, something called the viral safety index, which will be red or green. When it's red, we humidify and hydrate. When we, it's green, we can all breathe easier. It gives us advanced warning a viral danger indoors. And then you just buy a simple humidifier. Doesn't have to be fancy. I bought mine used on Amazon, I'm cheap. <laughs> and, and I have two of them and I keep the humidity between 50 and 60% round the clock. And I think that that will help everyone stay safe. And we all need to do it before flu season when COVID I believe is coming back with a vengeance. Mm -hmm. Dr. Jeff Gusky, uh, we're, we're out of time, but thank you so much. It's very rare we get it's to an honor. present hopeful news. <laughs> so this Fred, is, it's so this good to see good. you again. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. We'll have be a in good touch, week. sir.